a montar a caballo. Get this 
before you started. <laughs> I'm like pink right now.
Cowboys cheerleaders. They're the premier cheerleading team in the world. Every year they perform not only on game days at Texas Stadium, but in locations all around the world. Every man, no matter what nationality, shares his love for America's sweethearts. For one week only, individual cheerleaders are singled out and showcased in the hottest swimwear to create the legendary Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders swimsuit calendar. Let's take a look at the ladies who will be vying for a spot in the 2004 edition. That looks perfect. The other whole film bag, not just the insert. Different than a photographer. I work natural. I try to use the 
what we have. I try to use the, the beauty of the island itself. Adriana, perfecto. I think I have more rapport with, with the girls. That's from what I've noticed, from what they've told me. So I dedicated a little bit more energy to meeting the person and having that come across in my pictures. I don't have as much equipment as my the other two photographers. So I have to work around that a different way, a different approach. And that's what I've done. You did a great job. We have to move our location. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this time what I want to do is have you walk in him, but we'll be coming from over there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just can you tuck it in? Oh. Can you let the water go back and right here on camera. Nice. This is great, Misty. Nice. Good. Finding picturesque locations for 21 girls is a daunting task. The photographers are looking for more than just palm trees and sandy beaches. Luckily, some local families on the island donated the use of their homes and gardens. Crystal's first shoot is at La Casa de Ortega, a gorgeous Spanish-style spread just north of town. <laughs> Just go through the body motion and you'll crack up while you're doing it and we'll get some good shots. Okay? I love where I am. I love what I'm doing. I love the girls. Love the girls. Oh, that's nice. That looks good. I like it when your hair blows. Yeah. Nah. Uy. Pero aquí no hice ni prueba en esta, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es? Es el nueve, el diez. Same thing. Okay, we did perfectly. That works. Nice. Nice. Okay, but when you do that, don't smile because it's like too like provocative. So you gotta look provocative. They made an exception to the topless rule for Lisa's shoot at Ross's Beach, and Lisa makes it count with a series of shots that will make a strong push for the calendar. excited to be here. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so it's very interesting to me to see exactly how he's going to shoot and the shots that we're going to take and are we going to be in the water or are we not and I'm just really excited. Since there's so many girls this year, it's going to be really interesting because they've never had this many even brought on the calendar shoot before. So they can only choose 12, so I think it probably means more to a lot of the girls this year since there's so many of us. Well, we'd arranged to have a couple of ATVs at this jump off point into the road on this uh, park. When we got there, there was one sitting there. It wouldn't start. We'd seen the other one back at the lighthouse. We'd become pack mules for the moment. The long trek to the tip of Punta Sur has awarded Bobby with a spectacular sunset. With the help of some artificial lighting in the form of an ATV, Bobby captures Jennifer in one of the most stunning sunset shots of the calendar, in only the second day of shooting. of the island, Panchito's yacht, takes a few of the girls to hit the inaccessible northern coast. Hey, 
Maya has found a new friend, but he's not exactly ready to be a supermodel. I'm tired, you big debut. Let's get a rating on this. On two, big one, two, three. When making a swimsuit calendar as exquisite as the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, sometimes a little extra legwork is required. For Adriana's shoot, we found this quiet, secluded lagoon, perfect for intimate pictures. I come from a different country, a different culture, so uh, I had no idea what to expect. I'll tell you what, it's been way past my expectations. It's been great. Great, great, great job. Great challenge. Beautiful women. Is there anybody you want me to stand or does it matter? I think you're, I there? think, I'm getting your whole body here in one shot, but I, you look just, you know, like that. Just like that and look and look and be sexy and be a model <laughs> and have fun with it. Ooh. What a p wow! That's wow, that's a wrap almost. Damn! Look at me. Nice. Nice. Actually, you're a star. I'm just pushing buttons, man. Well done. Let's fly. We're late. What I think of him, yeah. he's crazy. He's lots of fun. Yeah. I can't wait to see what he has me do. <laughs> Smile. He was great. He's so he has so much energy. Yeah. He's so fun. He gets he sees what he likes and then he goes with it and he works from there and he really makes you feel pretty too. He's he's really sweet. Day four breaks early, and Alex has his crew at the white sand beaches of Andale, where everyone is feeling the beat. Turn, turn, give me that bitch look. Yeah, nice, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Bye. After days of constant shooting, some of the girls get an escape to swim with the dolphins and explore the reefs of Palancar. Years ago, Bobby found this old tree deep inside Punta Sur, and this time he's taken Courtney along for the ride. It's going pretty good. It's just I've tried setups that are, have a lot of challenges to them. It's a lot of MacGyvering going on. With only a couple of days left, Shanithia braves the sheer cliffs below Coconut. As one of the highest points on the island, the view is breathtaking.
Oh, and you hear him in that picture. Well, Kelly saw some of my work when she was scouting in Dominican Republic. And she was, uh, I, I, I was wondering if she was either really risky or crazy. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, good here. job. Well done. Thank you, Alex. Plus, anything less than the full blast of sun makes the background look more festive. It's the last day of shooting and the air is filled with electricity. Every photographer knows today is their last chance to get the shot of their dreams. Each has gone back to his favorite location and jockeyed for his favorite girls. definitely crunch day. There's very little time to accomplish what we need to get done and we wound up knowing that we needed about nine very strong sets, which means each photographer shooting three, in some cases four sets a day. And that's a lot. It's a lot of work on them and the crew. But it is our last day here. We only have so many hours and I, I can't go home to Dallas and think that I didn't do everything I could to get the best shot of every two Three, go. Bobby has taken Heather to the ruins of Chancanab to capture the spirit of Mexico's romantic past. Alright, okay, we're through here. I never leave in Texas before. I used to live at the North Mexico. Sometimes I've been at San Antonio, El Paso Alpine, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth. And here I am at his capital. Living a world close to my heart. It's all come down to these last few hours, and the final shots are captured behind the best lighting of the week. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. It's looking great. Do you feel it?
The hard work shifts to Valley Ranch, pouring over rolls and rolls of film. These go to paper, we plaster the walls, and we stare and stare and stare. Hours and hours of editing and staring. And we have people come in, we kind of get people from the office to come in and they mark their favorites. And then it, it usually, hopefully if we're lucky, the shot that keeps becoming a lot of people's favorites is the one that becomes the girl's major. And then we try to, you know, whittle down the, cal the calendar, the 12 months, by which shots have the most initials. We've been working very, very hard, and it was a very, very tough project this year because all the pictures were beautiful. Cozumel has its rough moments, but sometimes just waiting out the storm. Even the weather in Cozumel has its rough moments, but some. But from the 2004 Dallas Cowboys cheerleader calendar shoot, we'll be right back. I am holding a scorpion without a stinger. I'm touching it. I'm holding it. I'm like, I would stay and talk, but I gotta pee. <laughs> Look at them horns. 
I'm in again. another place. I'm in another place. Oh <laughs> my God. It's beautiful though. Watch out, Jason. Dripping. Don't put that in the video, please. She's come undone. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we get nervous? Because you're in the middle of nowhere with your top off in front of two people. Oh, and I'm naked right about that. <laughs>